Okay, Shalom. All right, first off, I want to say all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Makah Kodash, double honor to our apostles and elders of GMS, and uh, to the elect doing the work in sincerity and in truth. Shalom. Um, my name is Nazar Khud, GMS Precepts. And uh, real quick, I want to touch on this article and, and one more article um, and how they tie into prophecy. Now, this is from USA Today. It says, Food recalls up 10% since 2013 as food bore, foodborne illness kill 3,000 Americans a year. All right. So that's that goes into part of the, the, the pestilence that's prophesied, man. OK, foodborne illness. And then, mind you, the f food food is, is, is regulated to be safe or not safe or not by the FDA, which is a government. And right now we're we're in a we're in a, a government shutdown. So how can so food isn't being checked as properly or as stringent as it, as it once was? Uh, because we're in a government shutdown, man. All right, you've got some workers that are laid off, okay, and you and you've got some that are that that are that are working, but uh, they aren't they they can't do their job as efficiently as they can because they're short staffed. So. That it, you know, these numbers are just going to rise and rise even more, right? So it says, let me read a paragraph from here. It says, um, what is the paragraph? It says, meat and poultry recalls increased by two-thirds from 2013 to 2018, while food recalls over overall edged up 10%, according to the report published Thursday by the U.S. Public Interest Research Group. The group claims the number prove more could be done to protect the public uh the public against contamination such as E. coli and salmonella. The U.S. Centers of Disease Control and Prevention estimates 48 million people get sick, 128,000 are hospitalized, and 3,000 die from foodborne illness disease or foodborne disease each year in the U.S. Okay? And 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 all that is prophecy, man. Uh, okay? I'm going to get the scripture here in uh, Second Nudges, which is going to come out a lot. Why? Because we're, we're, we're in those days now. Right. So this is a uh, second Nezus 15 verse verse five. It says, behold, said the Lord, I will bring I will bring plagues upon the world. A sword, famine, death and destruction for wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth and the hurtful works are fulfilled. So this is what the Lord is bringing. He's bringing what he's bringing sword. He's bringing famine and he's he's bringing death and destruction. All right. To, to his enemies, he's bringing that all, all over the world. But his primary focus of judgment right now is is uh, 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 America. OK, America is getting that that judgment. Now, the next article I wanted to go into. Is uh, is more prophecy, as you see, this damn to pay Trump ugly ass eating might. I wanted to go into this other article here. Here it is. It's about California. California is getting fucked up, man. They got the mudslides they got to deal with on a constant basis. Hold on, let me try it again. Okay, and now they got the earthquake on top of that. Okay, and mind you, California has been going through a drought for a, 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 a long time, a few years now. Okay, so Cali's getting fucked from all angles. This uh, angles. It says micro earthquake rattles Malibu. A micro earthquake struck early this morning in Malibu, where residents are already dealing with heavy rainfall and mudslides. Now the mudslides are caused because when it rains, there's no, there's no, uh, when it does rain, right? There's no moisture in the in the ground in the soil, and it's called it causes what mudslides. OK, the magnet and why and why does that happen? Because there's been a drought. There's been a drought going on in Cali for a few years now. It says the magnitude 2.8 earthquake, which is which isn't that big. You could feel it, but it's not that big. It's not a major one. It says the magnitude 2.8 was reported at 1235 a.m. at the depth of just one mile over just one mile with the epicenter just a few miles of just a few miles island from Point Doom, according to the U.S. Geo uh, geological survey um, a Malibu public works crew on its way to assess the area but there's no initial damage the quake comes on the 25th anniversary of North Northridge quake which ravaged much of LA 
area with a magnitude of 6.7. So this came on an exact date as a, 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 a big earthquake 25 years ago. All right. Now, it's not earthquakes. There it goes. That's the shot right there you see. Now, it's not earthquakes in diverse places part of prophecy. Hmm? Earthquakes in diverse places. Let me get a. I'm going to get another one since I quoted that already. Let me go to the one in Isaiah. Isaiah 29 and 6. Isaiah 29 verse 6. It says, Thou shalt be visited. Okay? Thou shalt be visited by the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and flame of devouring fire. Now, Cali falls onto, uh, 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 under all of those, man. Showing you the Lord is really visiting Cali. The Lord is really visiting America. The rulers of America. Okay? All right? That's how the Lord... That's just one of many ways how the Lord deals with people and how he judges a, 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 a people, man. Through what? Through earthquake, great noise, storm and tempest, and flame and devouring fire. Now, um, like I said, this those two articles go into prophecy, which we're, we're currently in right now. That's why I wanted to bring that out. That's why I wanted to bring these two articles out real quick. All right, so that's pr pretty much it. It's not going to be a long show. Uh, until the next show, brothers.